Hello, my internet non-diplom is Count Wavenstein and I am going to do a walk round of Hera's latest sum uh, at Themyscira 137129 2104 uh, This one I believe is kind of Star Wars, Tatooine styled. Um, well, that's the uh, that's the futuristic fork lifting set from Millions with the looks of it. And uh, let's see how we get in here. Cyber stylings there. Like I'm on some kind of spaceship at the moment. Uh, just trying to figure out how to get off. Oh, so we've got what looks like a bridge here. Teleporters. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. So it looks like in the future uh, we no longer pay baggage handlers. But um, have it done by AI driven robots instead. Staircase over there. Oh, some nice gargoyles. Was actually in one of her sums where I first discovered Cryokin, which is a virtual substance that gets second life avatars off their tits. Uh, which is a rather strange, vicarious experience. Um, I 
not um, the moment like again, in spite of the name, but it actually seems to be more like a sedative in its effects. Makes your avatar quite unable to walk in a straight line. Tech junk. I always love tech junk. BIM, I've got a BIM video phone at home. Oh, message coming in. I love tech junk in uh, real life and in second life. Get this old five and a quarter inch disk drives. Very nineteen eighties. That was like an old microfish viewer. Uh, I used to work with them when I worked uh, on a little space site. Of course you could fit everything on the hundreds and hundreds of reels onto a single USB pin with today's technology. Cyber dog. Very comfortable looking captain's chair there. Should be able to watch the things. These don't look like standard Ethernet. But then, if you notice what kind of formats will be getting used in the future. Right in your rocket ship. Oh, guns! I was like grenades. Uh, what is it? See, as gas or something. Whatever it is, it was what you pull the pins out and. I do something nasty. No, I'm up. Yep. 
I just woke up. Oh, hello, de denim jacket. <laughs> just doing a walk round of fellas and you some. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shush, you're spoiling my video. It's a good one that's kind of like Tatooine. What's it called? Uh, it doesn't have a name, just the Muscara, um, which is the region. Yeah. Very detailed. Looks like Pompeii. But it does a bit, uh, Except for the pipes. Yeah, I... Is this a new kind of punk? Oh, it's got a lot of futuristic stuff in it as right. well. So it's some sort of like, punk. <laughs> some sort of punk, yeah. So Holograms. Yeah. Quite like these little fusion ideas she comes up with. Yeah, they're good, don't they? Yeah. Uh, this is kind of like classical punk, you know, like... um. Medieval punk, maybe? I don't know. What kind of punk is this? <laughs> Some kind of punk. Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> What's that over there? Universal robot repairs. I suppose the architecture is very um, reminiscent of. Um, yeah, classical times like Rome or Greek or something, like especially those columns and then of course it could yeah. be Babylon or something. Clues, we need clues, Hero. Um a, a lot of the kind of uh the old gossip vine uh, said it was like Tatooine, you know what's the so I kinda oh, yeah. dimmed. Oh, I can see that. Can see that, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Oh, yeah, that could. Is that a moisture evaporator? That is, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a moisture evaporator, that is. There we go. Yeah, Tatooine then. I mean, I know you said. But... Mm, point. Doesn't look very appetizing. What we got here? Oh, coffee. Bloody huge. Not really sure where to go here. Those things are cool, aren't they? It's like, um, oh, they're like sentry droids or something. They're baggage hand ones. Are oh, they drones? Uh, they're putting um, mm. blocks down in these things and taking them away. In the future, it looks like baggage hand ones will be fired and replaced with DI. Well, it's a horrible job. But your accounts, yeah. I don't mind if AI takes over all the horrible jobs that leave people to industrial injuries and shit like that, but there needs to be something for people to go to. Yeah, people are going to need some kind of job. Oh, a beach! And that is a moisture evaporator, there's no two ways about it. <laughs> that. There's one big fuck off jet engine over there. Ooh. Look at that. Whoa, and fighter jets. Are you on her um, recommended wind light or are you on your own? I think I'm on the. Sure, I'm not sure. Because um, I'd, I'd be inclined to put a kind of a yellowish tint on things, like mm. in the film. I'm a bit waiting now, I'm already 15 minutes <laughs> in. Uh, well, I'm in numbs optimal.
Ah, now we're talking. That is a very good use of um, the fog distance and haze. Oh, look at that! Right, oh, isn't it, isn't it? Yeah, one of the one of the moons. That would actually be problematic having it that close. Yes. Imagine the size of the tide you would get. <laughs> I know I'd be more worried about the Death Star, frankly. Or the planet killer. <laughs> is that? Oh, that's a. It's not a panther. What's the other one? Well, I mean, it's a dinosaur. It's but, a dinosaur, right? But, but in Star in the Star Wars universe, there are things like that. I can't remember what they're called. Seems docile enough. Oh. There's another one. I'm getting a bit of a Skyrim vibe of all things. Oh, that's a Brontosaurus, no two ways about it. Definitely works like it wouldn't. Maybe a little role play going on. Maybe a little there. role play or a little photo shoot going on there, Probably. so I'll keep out their way. Yeah. Don't want to pester them. Something I really like about Hira's projects is you'll go in there and you'll find a lot of spontaneous role play. I mean, yeah. I went into, oh, what was it called? It was kind of like Victorian, I can't remember what it was called. The White Chapel one? No, not the White Chapel one. Goatwood. Oh, Goatwood, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I went in in my Victorian outfit, and all of a sudden I'm talking to a Victorian policeman. Well, I remember that, indeed. Yeah. That's a Star Wars droid, if I've ever yeah. seen one, that isn't that? That is a Star Wars droid. If I was more of a nerd, I'd tell you the exact name and number, but I can't remember. I think I recognise the... Oh, I know Cerberus Crossing, yeah. They do some really amazing stuff. to hear us him I want to build stuff but invariably I don't <laughs> it'd be nice to have the resources to build something that's big oh wow, look at that lovely bridge that stone bridge that's fantastic that is a lovely bit of landscaping I love stuff like that love the um who else would think of dinosaurs and jet fighters? George Lucas. <laughs> um, that is a tunnel begging to be explored. Magic mushrooms, big ones. That would keep me going for years. <laughs> She always has some kind of underground area. Oh, these don't look too friendly. If this was Tomb Raider, I'd be dead in a minute. I'm 
Oh, so H two O. Oh, water. Moisture. Yeah. That's why they have the moisture evaporators to suck water out of the air. Turn it into planet, yeah. Turn it into cases of H two O. What's that big sort of wedgy thing behind you, up in the sky a bit? Yeah. Oh, that's the sand crawler, is it? Some kind of. Yeah, it's the sand crawler. The um, the Jawas ship. What's oh, a spaceship? Get a big engine. That's a space portal, right? With some bridge. Potentially under construction. I know it's a swing bridge or something. Yeah. So that tunnel's actually made me double back on myself. Which makes me think I'm going Wooderson's round the island. Maybe I'm meant to go clockwise. What's Wooderson's? The satanic direction? Yeah, plenty clockwise. <laughs> Mustn't stir widdershins, otherwise your butt will butter will cut your milk will curdle. Apparently, if you do widdershins round um, Alloway Kirk three times at midnight, you'll disappear. You should try that. I'm not sure I want to. Is that jet engine again? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of a space harrier a bit there. God, that's an old game, that. 1985. An oldie bit of classic. There's that jet engine again. I don't know why, but that's one of my favourite details. Well, that's really cool. The plane that's from would have to be a monster. I like the way that um, the um, some of it's quite decrepit. This looks like it's been. Allowed to fall apart. I think that was in the original Tatooine. It was just wear and tear from the hostile yeah. environment, wasn't it? I was looking at the mini map, and there's a lot of dots on there. More than last time, I think. Yeah, this one seems to be quite popular. It's all us uh, Star Wars fans. Right. Let's see, where's that staircase going? Let's see what's up high. Been here before, haven't I? Honestly, I have no idea, but there's a land speeder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Perhaps you have been here. 
I wish we thought that was cooler than the way in the later films. Darth Maul used a floating step through a moped. No one near as cool as what Skywalker's one speeder was it? The new Star Wars in terms of the visuals and design, I was always going to like those. Because, hey, it's design. But, it, though the new Star Wars could have just been such an amazing thing, but they were scuppered by poor writing. Or poor awareness of audience, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm just being bitchy. Well, no, um, there's the new ones and there's the new, new ones. That's true. The new ones, like in the late 90s, early 2000s. I think the trouble with that was that George Lucas had far too much influence on it. Well, yes, he wanted to tell a political story rather than a fairy tale. That some of the dialogue was absolutely shocking in it. Hello? What am I doing in this? Oh! <coughs> uh, how did I get off you? Stairs. Shit! Oh! Poor old Fiona, she takes a lot of punishment doing these videos. There's some more people milling about. They must be a family, they're all called Morigi. Oh, that looks like that. Um, hinging bridge. Definitely want to get a look at that. Anti fascist cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Very well dressed for a cupcake. Yep. Oh, now that is a very nice photo spot. That. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a photo op if ever I've seen one. Let's just see what it looks like. I don't know if you'll get the angle on that. You could actually de-render the rail railing. Yeah. As a rule, I don't like to de-render things, but for a good photo. Right, um, let's get Fiona's carabit paws on. Quite a good one. About there, maybe. Well, you've got another dude in the picture. You won't mind, will we? No, probably not. In fact, he's barely even visible. Mm. So I reckon that needs turned around a bit. Yeah, just a few degrees. Yep. Just to get more of that good stuff in the background. Yeah. Fiona's you know, got that nice torn face bitch look in her face. That is a very trademark stand, that is. <laughs> Oh, 
Wolf was fate of Jesus and nice touch. That may be an even better photo spot. No reason why you have to have any more? True. I would be so inclined to de res the railing, de render. Oh, for a portrait face photo, though, that's lovely. What do you think? You can get a better angle than that on her. Try now. Yeah, that's quite good. Oh, oh here's our tie keeps getting squished. What if I move it across a bit though? We like that one. It's a shame there's so much smoke in the way. She needs a rainbow joint mm -hmm. in the war. I see. Something there, I managed to walk across a perfectly safe way on the way around. Well, the old villager. It's probably to get a note of people's tags, because there's probably a lot of good places to visit <coughs> that you might not necessarily find out about. Definitely got the right t-shirt on for this. Hi. Wait for another level above this one. I think there is. How do I get up? I'm trying to not cheat and just fly. <laughs> As tempting as it is. See the balconies up there, but... Ah, maybe this is the way ahead. Stuck in a lion's ass. Yep. Not a pleasant. Oh, it's not a lion, it's some other creature, isn't it? It's something. Hover eaters. Operators, that's that sounds like the lift system from the last one. Yeah. Wonder how you actually operate them. I imagine by the operating thing there. I need to be standing here. I don't appear to be going very far. Maybe you need to sit. No, not on, on that. On, 
Oh, maybe it's just not operational. Well, I can always fly. What is that? Is that a lion? Well, no, it's not. It's some weird creature. Some weird Star Wars creature. Another thing this reminds me of, are you familiar with Dinotopia? No. Dinotopia is a kind of, well, dino punk uh, thing. It's like a... Was it a second life thing? No, it was a, it's a series of, um, it's a fiction thing. It's a graphics thing. It's a right. world in which there's dinosaurs. You know, the portmanteau is dinosaur and mm -hmm. utopia. So it's like a... It's been a while since I saw it, but it's like a sort of a civilization that lives with dinosaurs. It's oh, very much really? got this kind of feel. What was that game show I had with the dinosaurs? Lost Valley of Lost the Dinosaurs. Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs, eh? She loves that game. No, yeah, that was fun. I don't know, I used to get a bit bored of it after a while. We had to. I like the house rules we put. House rules that we put in. Oh, you know it's bad when you start having to make up house rules. That's true. But then it's nice to have that flexibility. Yeah. Although you can accidentally extend a game that way. So like with Monopoly, if you put your bills income onto your free parking, the, the game lasts forever. Yeah. <laughs> Which is sometimes what you need when playing with some particularly hard-nosed opponents, but yeah. Well, it can be good. There's more stairs. Ball. Yeah, go, go back the way you came, to the back wall, and turn right. Oh yeah. There's something that would look like a dentist seat as well. Oh, some kind mm -hmm. of bathing pool. But, yeah. Uh, Oh, more oh my god, to hide as us go. We've got some really nice high towers in this. Tiger on a mesh. Mm -hmm. I dream of the day when any mesh can be low land impact. Mm hmm. Oh, now you're getting some views. Lots of view. Oh, waiter droid. I'm sure it's an absurd waste of his capabilities. Whoa! Big spaceship. Mm. That looks like some kind of gun down there. See it? Yeah, I see it. As usual with Hera, the amount of detail that's in it is unbelievable. Right, I don't think I can get arsed walking all the way back down. Like six flights of stairs, so I'm just going to cheat. Although not that way, but the looks of things. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a sim boundary there, was there? There was something. Ooh. <laughs> They're going to think Ow. you're following them. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's a Morigius again. <laughs> Oh. You should apologise. Mm. Hi, I'm not following you, honestly. Yeah, it didn't just appear in front of you at the sky because I'm following you. Yeah. 
merchandise. Yeah, we've been up here, but that's that's the land speeder that the um, the Jawas yeah. use to pick up their droid bits. But it's like a, a pimped up um, land crawler. I think that's what it's called. Land Looks crawler. like it's floating. Are they still? F they must be doing photography. I'd better avoid them. You're not going to go in the land crawler thing? No, oh, I'll oh, find out. I think it was more like a spaceship, to be honest. If you remember the film, that's... it was... Did it not have tracks in the film? Yeah, it did, but... Well, you know, this has got, like, landing stungeons. Anyway, whatever it is, let's have a look inside it. Probably storage bays and stuff, probably. Right, more of those cargo. droids. So you've got a cargo ship, essentially. Ooh! I think I need to get to quarter around so I can see what... Maybe not that close. Well, I don't know how that happened, but it appeared to have teleported. Entry zone. Cantina! I think this is back at the beginning again. Yep. And I have been talking for 45 minutes now, so that's. Probably quite a good place to call it a day.